We're also pleased that the International Court of Justice found genocide happened. This was established already by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, and it's been reaffirmed by the court. It does show, however, the difficulty of proving intent to destroy a group at the state level. This is a very high threshold to prove genocide, and in a way it's not entirely surprising that it was not possible to find it in this case um, at the time. Um, and certainly in the Milosevic trial, for example, the, the tribunal, the ruling finds that Serbia failed to punish those responsible for Srebrenica, and the ruling further orders Serbia to immediately transfer and surrender Mladic to the ICTY. So this is this is crucially important because the court, the International Court of Justice, is restating how important it is to punish, to prosecute those responsible for genocide, and calls on Serbia to immediately transfer Mladic to The Hague. But here, what the court had to prove was that Belgrade, at the time, had a plan. From our perspective, this is absolutely historical. It's the first time, actually, the Convention Against Genocide was implemented in the way it was thought by, the, by its drafters in 1948. Article 9 of the Genocide Convention is very clear. Any state can hold another state responsible for genocide and claim compensations for the victims. So what we hope is that it sends a strong signal for other states that may be engaging in um, genocide, that they will be held accountable before the International Court of Justice.